In this video, we are going to look at how to solve polynomial inequalities using graphical methods. When an equal sign in an equation is replaced by an equality such as greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, the equation becomes an inequality. So linear inequalities can be solved algebraically, and they can be solved algebraically quite easily. But quadratic or cubic or even higher degree polynomial functions can be solved more easily using either a graph or algebraically using something called a sign diagram, which is what you will learn about in the next video. Our first example then asks us to solve x squared minus 7x plus 12 less than 0. In order to solve these then we need to graph. And to graph, we need to know the roots. To find the roots then, we need to factor our equation. x squared minus 7x plus 12 is going to factor to x minus 4 times x minus 3 less than 0. That means then that we have a root at x minus 4 equals 0 or x equals 4. And we have a, our second root x minus 3 equals 0 or x is equal to 3. If we were to graph this, let's just do a really quick sketch here, we would have a quadratic function and we would have roots at 3 and at 4. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at our graph and see where is our function less than 0. Our function is less than 0 all in this region here, meaning that between the values of 3 and 4, our function is going to be less than 0. That means that our solution is x is between 3 and 4. We're using less than signs here because we have a less than sign here. If this was a less than or equal to, these would be less than or equal to as well. Our second example, we've got x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x greater than or equal to 0. We need to factor again to find the roots. If we factor out an x, then inside becomes x squared minus 5x plus 6 greater than or equal to 0. And then x squared minus 5x plus 6 will factor to x minus 3, x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0. That means that we have a root at x equals 0. We have another root at x minus 3 equals 0 or x equals 3. And our third root x minus 2 equals 0 or x equals 2. Doing a really quick sketch then, roots are 0, 2, and 3. We know we have an odd degree function, positive leading coefficient, meaning that our end behavior is going to be as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches positive infinity, and as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity. We're going to join this together, and so our sketch would look like this. Now what we want to do again is look for where our graph is greater than or equal to 0. It's greater than or equal to 0 between 0 and 2, and any value above or equal to 3. That means that our solution is going to be x is between 0 and 2, and x greater than or equal to 3. We're using the greater than or equal signs now because our problem also has greater than or equal to signs. Now take note, you may need to use long division in order to find the roots, and sometimes you might not be able to factor some of the functions, so you can use a graphing calculator like Desmos to approximate where the solutions are. 